Man, shout out to this Easter egg. I stole this straight from my nephew. I'm not even trolling. Oh, it's my Easter egg. No, it's not. Get fan in the Um, what this? Okay, listen. Um, what the Sigma? Um, what the Sigma? Um, what this? Sig um, what the Sigma? Hello, guys. Welcome back to the Balaki channel. My name's Balaki. If you're new over here, fun fact, if you didn't know, I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan. I like that one song she made. It was, I think it was, um, Nightcrawler. <laughs> Which is why I'm going to be making a video on her today. Well, not her. Well, her fans. So basically, I've seen a lot of uh, stuff going around about Taylor Swift fans. And a lot of people are actually scared to speak on her fans because they're, apparently they're known for doxing. Please don't dox me. <laughs> But yeah, today we're gonna be taking a look at the the cringy fans. Cause let's be real, in every fan base, there's the cringe ones, just like Dream. This isn't a generalized thing. If you like to, I really don't care. But these ones here are seriously cringe. And also, there's a video on Cut uh, where it says six Taylor Swift fans versus one secret hater. So we're gonna see that. Basically, today's video is gonna be just max glazing. We're gonna see some glazing today that you haven't seen before. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. All we have to do now is just roll the freaking intro. <laughs> All right, I think it makes sense to start off on the TikToks that I saw, which basically gave me the motivation to make this video. Spectacles coming off. All right, let's turn this off. I need to get the lore on this. The Mandalorian. Shout out to the Mandalorian. My reaction to Taylor Swing in Exile, also known as the song that saved my life. Oh my God. Once again, we're glazing. They're not even in the concert, bro. Oh my god, they're British? Don't do this. <laughs> Why did she start screaming no like someone? It's like she witnessed someone die in her family. <laughs> Come on, man. You, I'm not, am I being crazy for thinking that's just weird as fuck? Like, what? Why are you screaming no? I just, like going to D Savage's concert, right? And I hear, don't you change. And I start screaming no! I love how they like try not to laugh. <laughs> I want to make a joke about her being blonde and the only blonde one in the group, but I'll restrain myself. <laughs> it could be worse, man. The Uchiha clan could have gotten to you. She outside of Accor Stadium with two of her friends on Sunday night when she heard the singer perform the folklore hit Exile as a surprise song on the set list. Immediately upon hearing the Bro, first- Bro, they're not even in the concert though, so they're just waiting outside the concert to hear the music. Y'all niggas is broke. Y'all niggas is bums. The top of her lungs before collapsing into her friend's arms. Her two pals appeared to be awkward. Oh my god, bruv. You've made this two minutes somehow. How long is she crying for? Also, why did they set up the camera? How is this authentic? If they have set up the camera, that's what I'm saying. They're giving each other that this is so embarrassing look. <laughs> Only real best friends will get it. All right, so yeah, that was one of the clips I saw. Um... There's more, unfortunately. So, we're, we know what type of fans we're getting into now. We're gonna see people like this where they scream no, like they just witnessed their fucking dog die in front of them and get, like, crucified like Jesus. And she sees death come from the fucking door of the Nether Realm and swipe every single one of her little brothers or something. That's the type of no she started screaming. It seems like she saw the devil. Taylor Swift fans are on another level. That's a great deal. <laughs> How many black people do you actually think are in a Taylor Swift concert? Because I haven't seen one person. You know what? Fuck back. Person of color. <laughs> this is gay. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I didn't want to be. I, I don't care if I get cancelled anymore. Fuck off, man. <laughs> This is... These are the most stereotypical Taylor Swift fans. I don't understand hype. I could say the same thing, because... But I'm not going to talk about Taylor Swift's music here, because that's when I feel like I will actually get... I don't care. She makes generic white people music. We're upset with these Taylor Swift fans for trying to steal the show during Taylor Swift's movie. Then you sit down and watch the movie. So during a screening of Taylor Swift's new movie, some fans decided to try and steal the show from Taylor. You see, during the movie, these three people 
decided to bring folding chairs into the theater and sort of match what Taylor was doing on screen while she was doing it. Well, while they were doing this- That is the cringiest shit ever, man. I feel sorry for the actual, like, genuine Taylor Swift fans that are just not this, this. Just this. Because, like, they're probably just like, oh, yeah, Taylor Swift, I've been listening to her since I was, like, young, and I just really like her music. Like, a normal fan. They don't do this fucking weird shit, like, bringing foldable chairs to her movie and, like, doing the same moves as- Almost nobody in the theater was paying them any attention, and people who saw the video of the fans doing this were not happy with them at all. You see, almost everybody in the comments of the video was telling the fans to just go and sit down. There are also people telling them to put the video on real, and other people were just confused where they even got the chairs from. <laughs> put this one on IG Rose. Taylor Swift movie drop, stuff like this has become pretty common in movie theaters. As you've probably seen many viral videos of fans just going absolutely berserk while the movie is playing. But I have to say- Yeah, I saw one where they were like, in a circle, like, like chanting. It's weird, it's just like they're- Bro, you do realize she's a human, right? You do realize that. It's not even glaze anymore. It's like borderline worship. And you're worshiping someone that, like, it's just cringe as fuck. Oh my god. There actually isn't one person of color. Oh my god. They're all white girls. I don't even see a man. I don't even see a man. Yo, has anyone actually been to a Taylor Swift concert here and, and experienced this cringe shit? <laughs> Yeah, I've never seen glazing to this extent. Like, it's on, like, some serious dick riding. Like, some serious... Oh, oh. Why did I do that? This fan assaulted Taylor Swift. Shout out to that guy. Anyway, uh, I, that's basically what I saw on t TikTok and all the shit that the fucking... That, that's her fans. But now we're gonna see... Oh, it's on Jubilee. Six Taylor Swift fans versus one secret hater. I wanna know if this hater is just, like, someone that just doesn't care. Or someone that is, like, seriously, like, hating. Like, I want to kill her. I am a Swifty. I'm a Swifty. What's he doing there? I'm a Swifty. I am a Swifty. I am a Swifty. Oh my god, she's black! I'm a Swifty. I'm a Swifty. I love how- I think they did that on purpose, they just got sh Wait, she's- she's the hater. Why are you all Swifties? Because I'm a white woman. I'm trolling, by the way. My dad called me into the room to see country music television, and she was doing tear gaps on my guitar. I believe you, you don't even need to say anything. I- I believe you. This is the one where I'm like, that's definitely a Swiftie. You should like her, she's good. <laughs> and that's how it started. <laughs> OG, but, uh, I was honestly a hater for a little bit, you know, hearing her on oh, the radio and okay. stuff. But <laughs> then, wow. I convert- Look how look, they're ready to dox him. Be careful, boy. We have your family's address. When I met my girlfriend, and when she was, was like, ah. uh, it's been a year. It's been like a, almost a year and a half oh, now. Okay, yeah. She was like showing me all the songs in the car, and I was like, all right, he's suspicious because he, he just said he said, what, what, bro, are they making this obvious as fuck? He just said basically the only reason why he listens to Taylor Swift is because his girlfriend listens to it. But then one day, <laughs> Speak Now Taylor's version came out, mm. and I went to go buy it for her, and I was surrounded by Swifties like us, and I just had great like conversation us. waiting for the CDs to come out, and I've, I've been a fan ever since. Okay. When I said I was a hater- Why did we was, speak, skip the black person again? All right. Pretty glad to have said that because it made everyone a little scared of me. I think it kind of built my trust with the other cast members. I became a fan in 2006. We know you are. We know. I don't. don't boy, well, come on. Elementary man. school. <laughs> yeah, we believe you. She did work for it. To be fair, yeah. she earned yeah. what she has. She's killing it. Yeah. And she's putting it back into the community, like for. Oh a my and fucking and god, bro! Is this a glazing competition? Both color and like speaking out politically about like all these yeah. things. And how many people she got to vote? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That yeah. That yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. she's so sick. To, like her truck drivers. Yes. 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 Oh. Yeah, I think where it's like on the list. I'm drunk in the back of the car and I cried like a baby coming home from the bar. Oh, cut. Like this video for Taylor. I'm fucking cringing so hard, bro. Why are they so corny? They're all gonna vote the dude. Yeah, I, I thought know. that he was basically that his girlfriend was the. He's fan, a straight he guy. We guy understand. Forced to listen to it. She looks like what you would imagine a Swiftie to look like. I think Michaela just wanted to So why did you vote her? Really more reserved. Michaela. We're not we're, we're not taking this seriously, aren't we? We're trolling. I think I just I didn't really talk very much. I don't even think I answered my own question. The black person didn't say anything, huh? And she's black. Quick round. What's your birthday? December 13th. December 13th. Oh, I can't be asked this glazery. This fucking glazery, man. Bruv, what the fuck, man? I don't even know my favorite artist's birthday. How are the- what? 
That's not a fan, that's just weird as shit. And if they get voted out for not knowing... Yeah. Okay, what's her mom's name? Andrew. Andrew. No, what's going on? What's going on? Yeah. Dad's name? Scott. Uh, brother's name? Oh, no. She's just copying. Yeah, cat's name? No. Oh, Meredith Grey and... Gray and, 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 and Benjamin. Fucking hell. This is bad. Yeah. Oh. What's her go-to cocktail? Uh, no like whiskey. No idea. Fuck a Diet Coke. With or You're so fucking cringe. Like, he's like trying to flex him. Why couldn't Diet Coke? You're a loser. You need a job, brutal. Like, if you know all this shit about a person that isn't your family member or someone close to you, you are fucking parasocial. You need to get some what's here, bro. And in his case, you need to get some penis, bro. Really torn because it was great that he was doing a lot of the trivia, but also there were a lot of things you could look up on Google and practice and study. She eats her chicken fingers with ketchup and sometimes mayo. That's what I learned from the NFL. <laughs> These are all such crazy. I'm gonna throw up. I am gonna throw up. This is ridiculous. You know, it, like it gets to the point where I'm, I'm so glad I'm not a musical artist because if I got to this stage, I would fucking kill myself. Or it would be just one of those ones where I just strub hate my fans. Like, things to know. I haven't been in it that long to know all these, like, strange things. How many Do you think Taylor watched this and was like, what the fuck? Like, because <laughs> she is human, like I said. She probably watched this and was like, wait, why the fuck did they know that? <laughs> what was her job on the Christmas tree farm that she grew up on? Taking off the... Praying um, mantis sex. Yes. Yes. Oh this is God. crazy. <laughs> yeah, it is crazy. It's, next question, I got a trivia question. Where does Taylor Swift actually live right now? Yeah, it's okay. too deep. Okay, these are all like Googleable questions. Like, what True. are some more things that? How about so like cardigans? Yeah. Like, let's name albums that have a cardigan. The Reputation one. With I mean, I don't know anything about her albums. Is that like a th thing she does? In the stars. Reputation sweater doesn't exist. <laughs> oh, the sweater. The oh, cardigan what, what doesn't did exist. I mean, then? Oh no. Oh uh, yeah. I don't think there's a cardigan for... I'm mistaking with, it. With, like, the... The folklore and the, the little, holiday like, ones stars. have stars. Oh, okay. Yeah. And yeah, red it must has have been that red. one. Who cares? Who knows this, man? Okay, so I had an idea for a little, like, lyric challenge. So <laughs> I am gonna say a lyric, oh, and good. then go down the line and just say, like, the next line in the song. Okay. If I love you don't know it, them just go to the next person. Okay. okay. Um, I mean, okay. this is fair enough. Like, if someone was to do this with my favorite artist... By the way, if you don't know my favorite artist, it's Trap Scott. But if I could see this, because someone could do this with me, and I'll probably get majority of the lyrics. So, Time won't fly, it's like I'm paralyzed by it. Uh, I would like to be my old self again, but I'm still trying to find it. I'm not supposed to say After clad <laughs> shirt days and stuff. Um, I can't do this. I'm actually cringing so hard. Can I skip this? Now you mail back my things and I walk home alone. Yes, okay. Why did she know? Oh my god. She's actually a... Alright, so, so far, I'm guessing the blue head dude, because... Whatever, sorry, not dude, I don't know. It looks like they professionally hate on the side, like they're one of those Twitter warriors. It could be them or they're the fucking straight guy that has his girlfriend. Interesting. The lyric challenge shows how challenging this is. She pisses me off. I don't even want to look at her face. It's one of those ones where like, what the fuck are you even wearing? You're doing it. No. I mean, I do, because like, girls supporting girls. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, it's like, the, I mean, I but like, like the nostalgia it. of that time. Yeah. Swifties will now vote John, Charlie. I think it's so John or Charlie, yeah, 100%. Say, my girlfriend got me into it, and it's only been, I feel like he said Shut a up. year. Shut the fuck up. And the person eliminated in this round is Charlie. Okay, I think they got him out, if I'm being honest. What? No way it's him. Yeah, I, I'll I know never it. forgive her for that sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Someone must have made it. Yeah, People, was she wearing it or? No, it was yeah. on like a Google Dick. Yeah. So, <laughs> Reputation and Lover, people have made their own, but they don't actually exist. I find her music fine. I am not a Swifty at all. I'm a punk. I'm an anarchist and I go by those values and her values do not match up with mine at all. So, I am not into pop whatsoever. I have always been into punk music from the day that I was yeah. born. That doesn't make you a hater though. I think they just did that for the title. This is what I'm like in real life. I don't even go by Charlie, I go by Dogface. So, you know, if I showed up looking like this, how I usually do, it would be uh, pretty obvious. I mean, it was obvious anyway. I'm down. Mm -hmm. The whole queer thing. A lot of people who are also gay are like, she's an ally, blah, blah, blah. Oh, brother, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, respect, but I don't give a shit. Like, we'll talk big man ting on a block and a- Oh, uh, but yeah, that was, um... That was six Swifties versus a hater. They know things that they probably shouldn't know, like their mother's name. Actually, no, that's pretty tamed. Uh, they know things like what specific drink she gets at bars and 
her pet's names, like every single one of her pet names and like weird shit like that you shouldn't probably know. Borderline parasocial, but hey, do you. If you enjoy doing it, then do that. As long as you got a job and you're, you probably don't have a job, let's be real. Yeah, man, a shout out to the Swifties. Smash the like if it, if you smash the button, it goes, grab your nipples, give it a twist if you're a female. Um, Voice. Yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be soon. Uh, Taylor Swift, number one's fan, out. Bye, B. I made that bitch famous.